Hello everyone, welcome to Sushi World and today I will react to a new Dreamcatcher album. This one is called End of the Nightmare. That's going to be very uh, interesting to see. How will they end the nightmare? <laughs> Let's go with the intro as usual in 3, 2, 1, go! Ooh. And as usual, an epic intro. Ooh. I could see this Ooh. in a Anime, anime opening, or a scare game. One thing, Dreamcatcher, I would love to see them do an or orchestra album, instrumental, uh, well, okay, not, not instrumental, but more orchestra based uh, album, that would be awesome, like a fancy type of uh, concept, I think they would fit that so well with their voices and such. Like uh, an uh, Lord of the Rings type of uh, music. Mm, that would be awesome. Anyway, let's go to their music video. This one is called Piri. Not sure what that actually means, but Piri in 3, 2, 1, go! Very white oriented lover hair color. Ooh. Ooh. Love the colors on their both hair and outfits along with everything being white. She feels trapped. Maybe trapped in her head mind? Love the production design. Time for Neil, Oh, I'm Oh, 
Whoever are producing this or directing these music videos, huge thumb up. Fantastic job, as always. But I think this one played uh, a bit extra with colors compared to their others, other music videos. This one uh, were conceptually more. Uh, color based so, uh, I would say and like I said I think maybe she was uh, she seemed to be trapped maybe trapped in her mind as in trapped in a nightmare can't escape something and trying to find a way out and uh, the time is running out for her maybe and she's meeting uh, she's seeing uh, a parallel, perhaps a parallel version of herself in a mirror because they seem to always bring up this mirror so maybe they are like two sides of of each other and this uh, and this version was trapped in a nightmare that she was trying to escape but uh, the time was ticking well, uh, I mean, as I've always said, uh, <laughs> uh, I have I most likely are missing some stuff here and there. And this time, <laughs> sadly, I forgot to <laughs> uh, put on English subtitles at first. So I was missing uh, the lyrics <laughs> uh, until the maybe. Uh, the last half minute, I think, or something. But fantastic music uh, video and fantastic song as always. Uh, so, anyway, let's go to the next one. This one is called Diamond in 3, 2, 1, go! Or maybe while I'm, if I had a car, drive. Or work out, perhaps. Oh, 
I'll, they don't make you bad songs at all. I haven't heard a single bad one. Missed uh, <laughs> pausing uh, before the next song. Uh, I know some people might want me to uh, <laughs> um, say my favorite song or rank them, but uh, that's not really my thing to rank uh, music because as long as I enjoy listening to it, that's that's my criteria. <laughs> as long as I enjoy it, it's good. Uh, so, yeah. So, I may sometimes say, oh, that's a good song, or that's a, a it's a fantastic song, but more than that type of uh, ranking, uh, I want to, because I don't feel like uh, there's any point of ranking music because uh, uh, music is uh, to enjoy uh, purely for me and if I don't <laughs> enjoy music then what's the point to be honest why, why listen to music if you if all you care about is ranking and all this uh, winning a, lots of awards and uh, get lots of um, views on music videos then I kind of feel like then it starts to feel like a, a more of a business for you instead of actually having fun uh, as a as a fan I mean and yeah I don't know that's not what music should be uh, anyway Let's go to a special clip, this one. And it's for... And there was no one left in. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. Ooh, I love the guitar melody. I think I'm losing my way. Babe, I'm getting to me. Oh, my God. 
Love that bass tone and melody. Fantastic. Oh. Uh, one thing with Dreamcatcher, I love that they have uh, these special clips for uh, one of their songs. Makes it so much more fun to do these reactions when you don't just have one music video and then the rest is just, uh, well, B-sides. <laughs> Uh, with audio uh, because of they always have at least one special clip for uh, one of their b-sides makes it so much more fun both for me as a reactor but also for you watching uh, these reactions um, anyway let's go to the last song and yes I know they do have an instrumental for their uh, Tile song, I think uh, that's the one they usually have. Uh, I don't react to them because eh, I don't really see the point, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, anyway, let's go with Daydream in 3, 2, 1, go! Oh, acoustic guitar! I love the sound of an acoustic steel guitar, especially. Beautiful voice. They all have uh, beautiful voices. I can't really choose one. Something stuck in my throat. Love the melody. So calming.
I wish I could sing a real dude. Or rather, had the money for a, a good coach. Look at coach. Oh. Ah, loved it. Such a nice uh, ending to a fan another fantastic album. I I've noticed that they've only so far released two studio albums, one Japanese and one Korean. Inter that's interesting that they seem to focus a bit more on releasing mini albums or EP, extended plays as the, they're also called. Uh, I wonder why. I mean, I don't uh, uh, mind it, but it's interesting. While if you take, uh, for example, uh, Girls Nation, they've actually only released four mini albums and uh, what is it? Nine studio albums. So I think some artists uh, seem to focus a bit more on studio albums, while others focus on mini albums. And mini albums usually are around five to seven uh, 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 tracks. So yeah. It could be that they release an, a mini album and uh, do a lot of uh, promotions instead for their music in that way. Because if you release an, a studio album with say around 10 to 12 songs then uh, you may not be able to do as much uh, promotion in in the same way since it will take more time and such uh, but yeah I don't know it's just interesting that they have that they seem to focus more on that and like I said they I think they are unique in that they do uh, special clips for one of their b-sides in I think th most likely they do it for all their uh, albums so that takes a bit of time to record I mean uh, these clips and for example music videos they take uh, they don't just take uh, a few hours to make they can take one to two days at least uh, to make, uh, I mean to film, and then they have to do all the post post production and and such. So it takes a bit of time. Uh, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, if you did, hit the like button as always. Comment below, and if you haven't, please subscribe and have a nice weekend.